Sacral neuromodulation is a specialized technique for those individuals who have some sort of a refractory or difficult to treat uh, lower unit tract symptoms problem. Now we can broadly categorize people who have lower tract symptoms into two groups. Those who have trouble with holding urine and those who have trouble with passing urine. A, a, a large proportion of people who have difficulty with holding urine have a condition called overactive bladder which is essentially a, a situation where there's urgency uh, and difficulty to hold urine and many of these individuals can leak urine before they reach the toilet. Now when that happens, uh, we have very good conservative methods by which we can help them. Things like bladder training, uh, pelvic floor muscle training, uh, lifestyle changes and for those who are obese, uh, losing at least 5% of the body weight. All this can help with symptoms of overactive bladder. Uh, and for those who don't respond to these measures, uh, there are uh, uh, medications such as anti-muscarinics and uh, beta-3 adrenergic agonists. And we know that a combination of these two medicines is more effective than either of the two medicines alone. So there are very good methods by which we can manage patients. But despite all this, we don't really have the perfect solution. So there are individuals in whom these symptoms are not controlled despite all these measures. And for, uh, for people who have such difficult to control problems, uh, we, have a, we, we call them refractory, either refractory overactive bladder or refractory urgency incontinence if they are leaking urine. And for these individuals, there are primarily two methods by which we manage uh, in our country. One, use of intravesical botulinum toxin injection. And we have considerable experience with the use of botulinum toxin injection into the bladder in our patients. Um, and the other, uh, the one that I wanted to discuss with you today, is sacral neuromodulation. Now, sacral neuromodulation is a device uh, that is, is, is uh, used to stimulate the S3 sacral space of the spinal cord. And so what we do essentially is put a small wire or electrode into the S3 space. This can be done by a minimally invasive technique. It takes maybe about 15 to 20 minutes uh, to place this under local anesthesia. It can be done uh, typically as a daycare procedure. And um, after the, at the end of this first step, there would be a, a very thin wire that exits the skin of the back. And uh, to that we, con uh, 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 we connect a battery pack. And with that battery pack, we stimulate over the next few days to see what happens. Uh, to, to ensure that the patient has a good response and in terms of ability to hold urine better about 70% of people will have a significant improvement even those who had not responded to all the other therapies before and once we have documented that they are improving then we go ahead to the next step step two in which we implant a small battery into the buttocks uh, gluteal region of the patient uh, which is internalized then and that uh, can can work for a prolonged period of time many years uh, before it would be required uh, to change it so so this method is effective uh, uh, both for problems related to storage and for some individuals who have what we call non-obstructive retention, this technique is useful. It also helps improve uh, constipation or functional constipation in people who suffer from it because many people have uh, problems related to different aspects of pelvic function and uh, use of the sacral neuromodulation technique can improve both functional constipation as well as problems related to the bladder. So in a sense, it's a holistic approach to pelvic health and can improve many of the difficult to treat functional problems. It is of course expensive, very expensive, uh, 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 but in the right patient who needs it, uh, who is not responded to everything else, it can really be a, 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 a life changer in a sense. Um, there are certain uh, problems associated with use of sacral neuromodulation which everybody should be aware of in terms of uh, uh, migration of leads, malfunctioning of the device, need to change the battery packs and so on. Um, but otherwise, for people for whom it works, uh, it can really transform a difficult to treat problem uh, so that they're able to manage their life much better. At Apollo Hospital's Heather Guda, we are doing sacral neuromodulation. Um, and we are also offering botulinum toxin to our patients. Uh, we have a large experience with the use of botulinum toxin. Another very good effective method for managing people who have storage problems. Um, so for overactive bladder, botulinum toxin and sacral neuromodulation are about equally effective. Um, except that botulinum toxin works for a shorter duration of time, typically somewhere around 8 to 9 months after which you need to repeat it. But it's much simpler to do and is far less expensive. Uh, but for people who have difficult to treat, 
avoiding problems or not able to pass urine well, uh, the non-obstructive retention category, botulinum toxin really doesn't have much role to play in them. But uh, uh, sacral neuromodulation can help some of those individuals who have difficulty in passing urine as well.